back in May, you know, we had this onslaught against Gaza, 240 killed, 2,000 wounded. And then barely two months later in July, uh, you had these so-called progressives in Congress, like Ilhan Omar, Jamal Bowman, Ayanna Presley, voting to give Israel 3.3-3.8 billion dollars in annual aid. And just recently, Congress gave Israel another one billion dollars for its Iron Dome. Perhaps you saw that um, AOC switched her vote from no to president at the last minute. What do you think of all this? Um, that that progressives are funding Israel. What do you make of that? Listen. People don't run for office in the United States to wage revolution from the chambers of Congress. You were really just basically talking about liberals. You're talking about young women and men. I mean, Nancy Pelosi, 50, 40, 30 years ago, was a young liberal. Ocasio-Cortez wants to be Nancy Pelosi one day. I mean, the, the, the notion that people rely upon, I mean, look, the Arms Export Control Act, um, there have been other legislative uh, 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 agendas that have been put out in public for years, permits Congress to move, to freeze Israeli funding, to challenge the use of Israeli weapons for violation of international law. It's never been applied. It's never been used. If they were black and if we were in, a, if, 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 if this was an African country and if we didn't get natural resources from them, we would use it. So. You know, it's 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 it's. It reminds me of the day when people ran running up and down the halls. The last time, the time before last, where Bernie Sanders ran for office, and he used the word occupation, and young liberals seemed. He said occupation. He said occupation. And then it got daring enough where he talked about Palestinians must be treated with dignity and respect. And now he's turned around and said, "Fine, we're going to give them another billion dollars." But I want a billion dollars for Gaza. Well, the problem with that is it sounds fine. The billion dollars doesn't go to Gaza. If it shows up at all, it goes to Israel. And Israel gets to control what happens to it. Israel can seize all of it or part of it for what it claims is tax arrears. It can control saying, oh, no, no, you can't allow antibiotics or you can't allow aspirin into Gaza because it'll keep people in good health. And if in their good health, one day they'll go up and become terrorists. So this notion that the revolution is going to be waged, whether it's from Congress or from the White House, is silly. Saul Alinsky, the great social organizer years ago, said the definition of a liberal is someone who stomps their foot down in righteous indignation in thin air. And that's what this particular group has done. When Ocasio-Cortez early on supported Palestinian self-determination and then got beat up, all of a sudden she comes out and she says, well, Maybe I'm really not informed about this. I need to take some additional, get some more information. I volunteered to teach her. I never heard back. And now she's taken the, the dramatic step of saying present. And it has, has struggled to rationalize it in a way, what it means, what it doesn't mean. This is someone who represents one of the poorest, one of the brownest, one of the blackest, one of the most oppressed communities in the United States. And how does she vote when it comes to arming, using money to fund White folks killing people of color in Palestine, present. So look, I'm not saying that, that there isn't a role to play for the so-called squad or the progressives in the United States politically, yes. But we have to be real. We can't be naive. What really works is staying in the street, putting pressure on BDS, moving and suing and fighting, although ultimately, the nature, the manner and means of the resistance on the ground in Palestine is an issue left solely to Palestinians. It's a battle I've had for decades now with certain progressive Americans and Westerners who, you know, preach about lunch counter sit-ins and say, oh, it should go this way. Oh, it should go that way. I don't support BDS for this reason or that reason. They seek to insinuate themselves into the, the most intimate details of how Palestinians choose to fight back how they choose to resist on the ground. It's their business and no one else's. And that's the bottom line. So yeah, the progressives in Congress, the handful of them that every once in a while get a little pang of guilt, every once in a while they really get an understanding, a close look at the mass slaughter of 10, 12, 13 Palestinian children whose crime is breathing air and being asleep in bed in a residential apartment at night or someone at an UNRWA shelter or in a homeless shelter, or someone in a hospital, and it offends them. And for that short period of time, they will go out on the floor of Congress and make speeches. 
But the next day, many of them, most of them, perhaps even at times, all of them are breaking bread in ways that don't support Palestinian self-determination. And if anything, as the most recent evidence shows, furthers exploitation, furthers attack, furthers apartheid, and furthers the slaughter by Israel in Palestine.